Hi, good evening guys. Sorry about the slight delay. Um, my name is Lisa Padmore. Um, welcome to the masterclass this evening on perimenopause and menopause and the effects that it have to have on the skin. Just to give you a bit of background on myself, I'm an esthetician. I've worked in this, basically the skincare industry and beauty industry for 30 years. And I work with brands, I work with new product development, I work with chemists. Um, and it's everything skincare really, and skin. I have worked with skinitions since its conception. So it's a, a long, long time I've worked with the guys. And uh, I'm here tonight really just discuss, to discuss what happens with your skin during menopause. I think as we come to the end of the Menopause Awareness Month, which has been fantastic, it's so, I think the awareness of menopause in general and the, the you know the side effects and all the, the different symptoms that we can get is so much more heightened, which is amazing. Um, because it was a bit of a taboo subject before. But one thing I think that we really need to do is educate people on what actually happens to your skin. You know, what happens throughout the perimenopause, what do you can then expect throughout menopause, and just really what can we do about it? What, you know, what skinition products you just certainly need to, you know, to be using, what ingredients you need to, to be using. So that's what I'm here to, to, to talk about, basically. But first of all, let's just talk about the difference between perimenopause and menopause. And essentially, perimenopause is when you start to kind of build up. So you, your periods might become fluctuating a little bit. You may They may be irregular. You'll be experiencing symptoms like the hot flushes, anxiety, sleep, you know, lack of sleep, huge array. And I know well, because I, I, I'm going through this right now, of different symptoms you've experienced. But actually, when you get into menopause, it's when your periods completely stop. But throughout this entire period, you start to, the ovaries produce estrogen. And that's a hormone that basically is, is really plays havoc with skins because estrogen is responsible for, you know, supporting collagen. So basically, in the first five years of our perimenopause, we lose 30% of collagen. And that's where we can start to see that kind of sunken look, the more defined fine lines and wrinkles, we can lose firmness. Um, but other things happen also. You, you've got that estrogen is actually vital in retaining moisture in the skin. So as that diminishes, we start to see that dehydration kick in, which it totally exacerbates the look and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. You get that dry effect. That's also due to progesterone as well as estrogen. So you start to get that dry, kind of, and that can lead to dull, devitalized skin. Some people find because of the, they get so much to really dry skin, it can become really itchy. So all these things are happening, but equally, estrogen is really important for controlling the inflammation in our body. So all of a sudden, you could start to become way more sensitive and sensitized. Like, for example, the certain things that like my skin is very resilient, but the certain things I've become more sensitive to, and I will typically not have, you know, a sensitive or reactive skin. So that can happen. The capillaries can dilate. You can get that that kind of broken down, basically, skin barrier um, with that sensitivity. You also have the stress hormone, which is cortisol, can play havoc also, and you can also end up getting breakouts. So there's lots of different things that you can experience. Um, and that, you know, as I said, for a menopause, you, it might be subtle to begin with, but then it really sort of increases. But there's a lot you can do. There really, really is. And that's from everything from skincare, making sure you go to your, your, you know, see your esthetician, beauty therapist on a regular basis and you're having those professional treatments. And also, I mean, I personally take collagen supplements. So I find that really, really helps my skin. So it's kind of really taking that holistic approach. But really, you know, it's so vital to, to make sure you've, you've got a really, really good skincare regime in this time and you're addressing all of those factors that can happen. I mean, someone asked me um, recently, you know, is, is menopause a skin type? Well, no, it, it's not. But equally, we all experience certain things. But what you might find is you might find that, you know, your skin was really dry before and all of a sudden you're having breakouts. Or your skin was oily 
and all of a sudden it's drying out. So it's kind of adapting that your skincare really, you know, as you see it, basically as those symptoms come up. Um, but I could, I wouldn't recommend more to go and see your skin, go to one of your salons that has skin issue and go and speak to a, a beauty therapist and basically have a, you know, a bit of full consultation and really have a look at your skin and what you're using because the skin issue peels will make a big difference and we'll speak about that. But equally so with things like, you know, radio frequency, that really stimulates collagen. So I think you really need to take a, a full approach to that as well as, as really as well as lifestyle. But first and foremost, like, you know, your cleansing is like your cornerstone of your skincare regime. If you start badly, your skin sensitized, that's going to carry on into your skincare regime. So it's important, really, particularly with menopausal skin, that you're using something gentle, really, really effective, but gentle enough not to strip the skin. And I personally just love the revitalizing cleanser. It's amazing. It's so good. It's that perfect balance of effective super effective at removing every trace of makeup really clean the cleansing the skin removing every trace of spf which is a sticky substance so you really need to make sure you remove that but it's really calming and just really really smooth soothes and calms the skin it's a really really great great start to the skin but there's so many wonderful cleansers in the range i mean typically in the evening i start with a cleansing balm the cleansing balm basically is the most nourishing, incredible balm. It literally removes every single trace of makeup. It's just so, it's got beautiful oils in there. It's got avocado oil. It's got some really hydrating and soothing oils. And I find basically after a full face of makeup of the day, you most certainly need to be doing a double cleanse. And your double cleanse starts by fully removing that makeup. And as I said, that SPF, because SPF is designed to stay put. So it's really, really important that you're really thoroughly removing that. So this is just the most divine, divine balm. It's gorgeous. And, you know, if you've got, I mean, I typically have dry skin. It's just that softening and soothing. It's like the perfect step to your skincare regime. And then I basically, after that, I go in with the revitalizing cleanser. Again, just to really then, I've got everything off my skin. I want to then start cleansing my skin and really cleansing the pores and removing kind of any residue, of any oil. So that's a perfect second cleanse. But equally, so is the enzyme cleanser, which is fantastic. The Pro Radiance enzyme cleanser is amazing. You've got enzymes in there, really, that are going to slough away those dead skin cells. Just re if you are suffering from dryness, I would certainly encourage you to use this, either in the morning or as your second cleanse at night. But in the morning, it, it's a good one because it's a standalone. You obviously only need to cleanse once in the morning. But, you know, there are so many fantastic cleansers, but they're the three. They're kind of three of my go-tos, really. Um, if my skin's feeling dull, this is what definitely something I'd use first thing in the morning just to give you that soft, supple, radiant glow. It really, really is super effective. It's a foam, so it's easily removed. It's just like you need a tiny amount. You, you know, just literally mix it with water, and there you go. I mean, you, you wouldn't, you'd obviously completely avoid the eye area with this one. Whereas the cleansing balm, actually, you can that thoroughly removes. Eye makeup. So that cleansing balm can be totally used around the eye. You need the tiniest amount, you know, tiny little amount, but it really does remove that waterproof mascara, which is amazing. But equally, with the oils in there, it really, really conditions. So what you'd make sure is obviously when you're using the cleansing balms, you just avoid the tear duct and you just take it to the lashes. Just make sure you use a tiny, tiny amount. But they are a good cleanser. A good cleansing regime is is really, really vital. So then there are some key ingredients here, one of which is our amazing new hyaluronic elixir. Now, there's some ingredients that you really, really need as you age, and you just really need in your skincare regime anyway, but one of which is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid basically is, we all have it, you know, in our bodies when we're younger, and we, again, we start to lose that hyaluronic acid. And what hyaluronic acid does, it gives your skin that plumpness and that viscosity so it just it gives you that dewy plump skin 
So if you look at a baby, they're full of collagen and they're full of hyaluronic acid. As you age, that diminishes. And certainly when you start to produce less estrogen, that really starts to diminish. And what you'll find is that, again, will exacerbate the fine lines and wrinkles. This elixir is incredible. It's super, super concentrated. We have three different types of hyaluronic acid here. We have different weights. So we have a low molecular weight that literally penetrates deep into the skin. It really, really helps to plump and basically work on the elasticity of the skin. And then we have a higher, which is designed to seal and really restore that radiance and seal that skin barrier. It's the most lightweight product. It's fantastic. Anyone can use this actually, any skin type. You really need hyaluronic acid. Not only is it gonna hydrate, it restores that radiance and it just really, really deeply kind of get, you know, plumps out the skin. It's a really vital ingredient. And that I would say twice a day, once a day or twice a day, but it's a really, really vital one. It also contains glycerin, which is highly hydrating. It's fantastic. And the, the great thing with this, it just goes in so quickly. It really, really does. It just it penetrates so, so quickly. You can use it over, you know, over, for example, like if you're using retinol at night, we'll discuss the power bomb, but you could use it over that. Um, but typically in the AM, that would be one of the first products that goes on when you've, you know, applied your toner. And not to forget here your amazing revitalizing toner. That would obviously be your next step after your cleansing. But equally, particularly with the hot flushes, it's the most hydrating product. This is like one of those things that you just, I would take in my handbag and I'd have it as my go-to, just a hydration veil, basically. It's great for travel. It's just great for that extra spritz of hydration. It's absolutely fantastic. So not only is it that toner, it's that treatment, it's that, it's that mist that is really, really vital. And actually, when after you're cleansing, you want to put that, that veil of hydration on. Ideally, you would apply your, to your toning mist, and while your skin's damp, on goes your hyaluronic elixir. The reason for that, the reason why your skin needs to be damp is basically hyaluronic acid is a humectant and it's pulled in with moisture. So it's way more effective if it's applied when you, your skin's moist. It's gonna really pull that into the skin and really, really plump and you know tone and firm the skin. It's an absolute winner. We haven't put any fragrance in here, so you've got no, there's not, it's not on, you know, fragrance can be an allergen, can dry out the skin. We don't need that in the, you know, so this is just purely hydrating, a deep, really incredible, like power packed elixir that's good for anybody. You'll really visibly see the difference with this. So then one thing that is absolutely vital is your eye serum, your advanced eye serum. This is gonna be like, your eye repair is just, one of those vital things it's got vitamin C in, it's got peptides, it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got all of these things going on. And really like, you know, an eye cream is really, really essential. And this has that sort of eye serum texture. It's very, very, very light. So you'd need like a grain of rice per eye. And literally all you do is you take it under the eye and then just over the brow bone. You'd never take it on the bottom of the lid essentially just massage that in it's got you know a lot of the a lot of the ingredients here have got clinical data you see, you're going to see a big big difference use twice a day after a month you'd see a huge difference it plumps it brightens it firms and it's a lightweight texture basically the eye area is 10 times finer than the rest of the face so we need to be using something specific for that it's fantastic but equally what i do is what I've personally found is as I've got older and obviously the menopause, perimenopause, I'm getting a lot more like little fine lines around my mouth. So what I do, again, I use I use this literally over the lips and around those little fine lines on the, on the lip line and it just sinks in. It's amazing. Fantastic. It's so important to use an eye, you know, the eye serum and this is a winner. It really is. So then we have you know, different, we have our day and our night. I wanna talk about the, the vitamin C elixir. Vitamin C is another one 
like your high hyaluronic acid is absolutely essential, particularly in this stage of menopause, like perimenopause and menopause. Vitamin C not only will stimulate the skins, like it will help by stimulate collagen. It really helps really stimulate your collagen levels. It helps repair any even skin, you know, basically correct even skin and even skin tone. It helps with pigmentation. And it really restores radiance. Vitamin C is a vital ingredient, basically. And this vitamin C, the vitamin C elixir, it's actually got vitamin D and vitamin E. It's like a vitamin power packed serum, but it's actually an oil. And we've gone for a super, super like lightweight oil, which is actually this, this vitamin C is actually the one of the most stable types of vitamin C that actually converts into pure vitamin C in your skin. It's amazing and what I do find is generally every single client I deal with because I'm just still doing clients the skin is drier as they go into menopause and perimenopause and actually an oil is, is essential but this is like super duper lightweight really really is so it just sinks into the skin now what you basically you can just apply this under your moisturizer or you can actually mix it in but this is a, an ingredient really that would be as I said, AM, you wouldn't use this on the PM. This is, a, this is in the morning. Because when it comes to things like retinol, you don't want to be mixing vitamin C with that. It's just too active and a bit clashy. So this is best in the morning. But stimulating collagen is obviously what we need to do. The oil is going to really, really soften the skin, help with any dryness, any itchiness. Oils are, people kind of shy away from oils, really, because they think, oh my gosh, it's going to block my skin. Absolutely not. This is a hugely lightweight oil, and I, I find oil is actually the game changer for menopausal skin because you really, really need it. You know, you, you get that devitalized look, and this you need the tiniest, tiniest amount here, but it really, really helps. Personally, I actually recommend just to again just to combine it with your day cream. So we have here our advanced time delay. And basically, this is, you know, you, you could either put your oil on first or add this in. Another ingredient that is essential is SPF. If you're not protecting your skin with SPF, it's the single most thing that will age your skin. No question. Not only will it age your skin, it damages the skin. You know, it really will affect the condition of your skin. And obviously, we don't, we don't, we have, you know, we want to avoid pigmentation. Obviously, you know, ultimately, the most important thing is to avoid, obviously, any skin cancer. It's the most vital thing. It, it truly is. And what's amazing with skin issue is all of the day creams contain SPF. So it's like, it's perfect. You know, you've got this time delay here, which is, you've got some peptides in, you've got amazing ingredient called Genocell. So you've got those anti aging effects and that moisture, but you've got your SPF 30. And it's really, really essential. It really is something that you, you definitely need in your skincare regime, for sure. So basically, that would be your, your daytime. So we've talked about hyaluronic acid, those power-packed ingredients, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, SPF. You know, what you don't want to do, as you, as you, as you the skin starts to become more sensitized, your barrier function starts to, you know, become compromised. So you want to make sure you're restoring that barrier function. We've got the antioxidant power from the, from the vitamin C also. Really, really essential. Please ask me any questions. Any, anyone go in, anyone's kind of got any questions or if you're experiencing something that, you know, you're going through with perio or menopause, please, you know, please feel free to ask. So then we're kind of coming to our nighttime regime. And basically, again, just talking about ingredients that are really, really vital. So, after having cleansed, I would most definitely recommend retinol. Retinol, you know, some people are scared of retinol and they think, oh gosh, it's just too much, like my, my skin's gonna overreact. The wonderful thing with skin issue is basically you've got two different percentage levels. So the idea is if you're new to retinol, basically you're level one, which is 0.1% retinol, you start with that and then you level up. So basically if you're brand new to retinol, I would always say start two to three times a week. 
and then build up. So you'd always start with one. And this is just, it's just fantastic. It's got, you know, as I said, you've got your retinol in there, which is an incredible ingredient, but it's also got lots of peptides that really support the retinol. And really, it really, really does deliver incredible results. So as I said, if your skin's on the more sensitive side, just start with your, you know, obviously you'd always start with your level one and just build it up basically. But always remember to take it down to the decollete, it's amazing. And basically you'd only ever use retinol at night because basically it's an active ingredient and obviously when you're exposed to the sun in the daytime, you know, it, it's, it's not good in the daytime basically because obviously the sun can give you more photosensitivity. So it's always at night we recommend this. And it's just a brilliant texture. You'd, you'd apply this literally onto clean skin. This would be the first one after you've cleansed and toned. And two to three pumps is what you need. It's like a serum texture. It's absolutely fantastic. Once you've been using that, from if you've got sensitive skin, maybe two months, if not a month, and then build up to your level two, basically, which is your 0.5, so you're scaling up. What you can also do, if you're, as I say, if you're new to, to retinol, is actually buffer it, so you can apply it with a cream, just to dilute that formula a little bit. Retinol is the gold standard ingredient in skincare. It's the most proven active ingredient that you could, you've ever find. It's got the most data, it's got the most clinical data. It's absolutely brilliant. And why? Because it's stimulating collagen, which you know you really need that collagen stimulating basically throughout the whole menopause. It's stimulating cell renewal, it regenerates, it repairs. And what this is going to do is work in that nightly repair phase of your skin. So that's the time to really, really target that and really repair. I absolutely adore this. I just I recommend it for all my clients because it's it's lightweight, it's encapsulated. I've never had a problem with anyone reacting to this. And if you know what, if you if you know, if you are more sensitive, you can stay on the number one. That st that percentage it will still be super effective. But the idea is you then build your tolerance and you level up to two. But it's just a brilliant ingredient. You see a big difference when using this balm, basically the power balm, in the morning. Your skin is just again more radiant it's just like it's going to help with the fine lines and wrinkles it's going to really regenerate and plump collagen it really is one of those vital things as you age you really really need but equally for those out there that you know they may have a team um having problem with skin it's very very good for acneic types of skin and also imbalanced oily because it does help, really really helps to, to repair that also I would, I and I actually use a night cream on top because my, you know, you don't have to, but if your skin's more on the dry and dehydrated side, I want that effect from that advanced, you know, the, the love beautiful night cream. And it's just, I would use that directly on top. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see the hydration there, our advanced restoring night cream. So I feel like I'm getting all the anti-aging anti benefits of that. And obviously that power serum underneath the, with the overnight balm. And that's like the perfect, night regime for me I do see just wake up in the morning the difference in the moisture levels just the skin looks plumper and smoother and firmer and of course I'd use my you know eye my peptide eye but what you may find is that you just become more you know if you if, you, if your skin's becoming more sensitive then you may need the the calming serum which is absolutely sorry put on one absolutely amazing this calming serum this is just it's got a a plank complex in here which literally immediately soothes any redness and it works to constrict the capillaries and really really soothe redness so not only is it good for any sensitive breakouts any rashes also for itchiness as well because that becomes in like you know sensitive and compromised really amazing but equally, if you've had a breakout and you've got that redness, that will take it right down. So that's like your first step in calming that down. It really is an absolute winner. It just really immediately soothes. So another effect of menopause is, unfortunately, is rosacea. And that's where, you know, it can be, can just be brought on by the menopause and by the hormonal challenges. 
but it also can be exacerbated by all the hot flushes. So where you're getting that redness, there's that red cheeks, that heat in the face, and that will really calm it down. You can either use it on its own, or you can use it under your moisturizer. Obviously, you'd always use your SPF. You'd always use your, you know, your Skinish and Day Day Cream with your SPF 30. But it's fantastic at just really, really calming and soothing that down. It's wonderful. So you know that, that there are key things that you you really need to be thinking about. As I said, those products I mentioned, which are going to deliver incredible results for the skin, you've got to be making sure you're really using that the vitamin, the hyaluronic acid, the vitamin C, the SPF, the retinol. All those incredible peptides are really, really going to help your skin. But equally, you know, this, if you haven't tried it already, the Skinish and Peels are fantastic i absolutely love them i'm a regular user of them and what i would say unless you've got breakouts which i go for there's two types there's a glycolic or there's the lactic unless you've got breakouts and you're kind of suffering from adult acne from the menopause i'd go ahead and and use the glycolic i go for the lactic the ageless peel the, the lactic because lactic generally is is more gentle on you know so it's a gentler peel but super effective but it would also it also really really helps to hydrate the skin. Lactic acid is incredibly hydrating on the skin. And what you're going to see what you're going to see is that basically the difference is immediate with a peel. I absolutely just can't be without them. The difference in the texture of the skin, the difference in the it brings that moisture back, that radiant glow, that takes that dryness and roughness away. It's really really essential. But as I was saying also, you know, there are things like, as well as your peels, in conjunction with your peels, you know, you want to be thinking about things like radio frequency, which are proven to stimulate collagen. As I said, things like, you know, your collagen supplements, just, you know, not only attacking it from the skincare side of it, but the professional treatments. The professional treatments, I wholeheartedly recommend and Skinition is a brand that basically is sold through, you know is by beauty therapists and it's just getting that knowledge and the passion of the beauty therapist and making sure they, they tailor basically your skin your Skinition plan to you and what you're currently seeing any questions anyone anyone please just I mean you, you'll get a you'll get a Skinition basically product card which is gives you all the recommendations um, but you know, this is basically what I, you know, I'd recommend all these different types of different products. But they are amazing, and they re you really, really see will see a difference on the skin. Well, thank you, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you for for listening in, and um, see you soon. Take care. Bye.